Williams and we're here at the Stronghouse Artisan and Farmers Market in Amherst. Um, we brought with us today our specialty which is microgreens. We have spicy mixes, mild mixes and specialty greens including radishes, basil and other herbs. We are an organic farm located in Pelham, Mass and every week we come with different produce including our kale, our basil and my favorite right now which is our sun gold tomatoes. We also have um, farm fresh eggs from a variety of different chickens, so every dozen comes in a rainbow of colors. I'm Aaron Andrews. I am the founder of Beyond Happiness. We are a wellness business, and we believe in a world where the vast majority of college students wake up every single morning loving who they are. And the way we do that is by creating natural skincare products. We also have an amazing YouTube channel, and we do small events. Um, we make this right in my dorm and it's all natural and we just switched the packaging so the packaging is fully biodegradable so that means that you can take the package you can put it into the soil and it'll turn into dirt within three months. I'm Juliana Farina I run Amherst Soaps we're based out of Amherst and today every Thursday we are at the Stronghouse Market located right next to the Jones Library um, so today I'll talk a little bit about some of my best sellers build some of the soaps that got me started I'm a teacher by day, soap maker by night, so some of my favorite things to do are you know, more creative outlets. I turn to soap, it has a little bit of the chemistry side to it, something that I truly enjoy and I believe in. Um, so let's get started. The soap that got me into this whole thing was Back to Basics. This is my most simple soap, great for sensitive skin, great if you have psoriasis as well. It's made with simply four ingredients. We have local lard from Go Farms right here in Amherst, so you know that some of those oils in this bar are literally coming from right down the street. That was a big part of what I wanted to do, keep it sustainable, keep it local. Um, so it's gonna be half lard, half olive oil, the lye, which is the only chemical that we actually use. There's none of it remaining in the actual soap, but it's the only thing that's strong enough to actually change your oils into soap itself. It's a process called saponification. My name is Andrea, and this is Sunuka Prep. I'm Dario, this is Zuli. So, we sell a lot of African fabrics and a lot of African baskets and bracelets and earrings and a lot of jewelry. So just and head wraps. And head wraps. Yeah. So come and check us out. We're here every Thursday at Strong House Market, which is in downtown Amherst. I'm Madeline from Chevro de La Grande. I raise my goats and I make all my products in Colerain. I have soaps, lotions, liquid soaps, and shaving creams made from goat's milk. I've been doing this for 14 years. I just took over this business last year. And I just moved to Colerain four months ago. Hi, I'm Annie from Annie's Bakery. And if you'd like to come and try my cookies and cakes, come check out at the Strong House Farmer's Market on Thursdays. I have chocolate chip cookies every week and sugar cookies. And I'll also sometimes have my cake cups on Thursdays, but also always at the Saturday Farmer's Market in Amherst. Hi, I'm Professor Skywong, and I am the uh, owner, operator, chief mischief maker here at Delightfully Strange. Um, I'm actually a biology professor over at UMass Amherst, and I love animals in all of their forms, and some of that takes uh, the form of art. So I started um, first probably making the crochet jellyfish, um, which I make uh, started making for Christmas parties, actually, for my graduate program, and people really love them. Um, and in addition, I make... Uh, Classic bottle jellyfish. Uh, I love anything that's weird and unusual and animals that maybe are a little, people think are a little icky or a little weird. And I really like to kind of emphasize them and show people how amazing and awesome and, and beautiful they really are. Um, so I started out doing digital art. Um, so these are some of my original digital art. And then I moved it more into traditional watercolor, which is really what I'm doing now. So um, some of my favorite pieces probably are my magpies because I grew up in Alaska where we had tons of magpies and I love them. Um, and then my cedar wax wing, um, which I also really love. It's one of my newest pieces. Um, and I'm just really excited to be here at the Strong House um, Thursday night market. Hi, my name is John Noon. I'm the founder of Moon's Bakery. And I cater to folks that are gluten and sugar sensitive but that want to have a sweet treat every now and then. And I just started uh, selling cookies this year. My first product was gluten-free, sugar-free, shortbread cookies. Uh, 
I started it because uh, a friend of mine who's diabetic, who is also <clears throat> gluten conscious, said, you know, there's uh, plenty of gluten-free cookies and products out there, and some sugar-free ones that aren't very good, but there's nothing out there that's both sugar-free and gluten-free that tastes good. So I took it upon myself to develop this cookie, and, uh, and here it is. Hey, my name is Joshua Behrens. I make jewelry out of three mediums, precious metal clay, wire wrapping, and dichroic glass. I've been making jewelry some form since high school. I made, made this, this pendant just a few minutes ago. What got me motivated jewelry originally is someone had bought me a rock tumbler. And I started polishing stones and making jewelry out of those. And I've just experimented with different mediums over the years. And this is what I enjoyed the most. So this is what I'm doing right now. Hi, my name is Amanda Mackey. I am the owner and instructor at Amherst Family Yoga. I will be at the Strong Market and the Saturday Day Market having $5 yoga classes. Tonight the class is at 7 o'clock. On Saturdays they are at 9.30 a.m. I have an after school program for kids K through 5th grade, 6 a.m. yoga, family yoga on Sundays. Uh, you can come here and check out my booth. I'm located at 479 West Street, Suite 80, across from the Moan and Dove and next to Mission Cantina. Namaste. Just laid on the very same night. I went to a gent with a flashlight. 